Today, Charlie Pride here. And I'm Jennifer Pride. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Pride of the Villages. As what was uh, widely announced here in the Villages, um, in the paper and elsewhere, and that is on the 13th of November, uh, Saturday, the uh, Azell Recreation Center was opened. And the Azell Recreation Center is appropriately named for the uh, the village's architect of the uh, golf courses here, and that's uh, Mr. Kenny Azell. As you are likely aware, the recreation centers are designed on a theme, and surprisingly, as popular as the game of golf is in the villages, there has never been a recreation mm -hmm. center with a golf theme designed until now. Jennifer and I visited the Azell complex after it opened, and this was on um, the next day, on the Sunday morning, where we had a chance to shoot some 360 degree video without the crowds of the previous day. Uh, I'll say we found some similarities and some differences between the Azell and the uh, other regional recreational complex, and we'll take you for a look inside and out of this new facility.
Okay, that is it for the Recreation Center. Uh, we will now look at the outside facilities of the Azell Recreation Complex. Starting with the sports pool, uh, this was a somewhat cold uh, morning, but the uh, pool was uh, heated to 80 degrees and there was one brave lady swimming. The pool looks like a standard sports pool, but modifications in design have been made to accommodate the uh, regulation uh, boundary lines for the water volleyball games. Uh, water volleyball has become a very popular sport in the villages. There is also a really nice pond uh, behind the pool. Moving over to the pickleball courts, uh, there are nine pickleball courts, which is uh, less than some of the other regional recreation centers. Uh, Rohan has 18 and Everglades 12. There are uh, new shiny balls uh, that have been provided. Uh, I'm sure they're not going to stay shiny for long. What is unique about these uh, pickleball uh, courts is that there is stadium seating for spectators. I believe this is the first pickleball venue that has seating for spectators. So expect some tournaments to be held here in the future. The complex also has two tennis courts. There's a nice walking path around the complex grounds. This walking path contains three pods of exercise equipment. Jennifer and I did a video of the Everglades Fitness Park, so check that out if interested. You have the customary shuffleboard and bocce ball. As well as cornhole toss. Now horseshoe pits are not unique, uh, but below Highway 44. I believe this is the first of its kind of any of the recreation centers. So if horseshoes are your game, you now have a venue close by. Lastly, you will notice a large fenced off area. This is the continuation of the construction on a sawgrass grove complex with the entertainment venue, pub, and marketplace. Also, we have not forgotten about the Clifton Cove putting course, and we will have a separate video on that out after we play the course. So that's our review of the uh, Azell Recreational Complex, both inside and out, and uh, that's all for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.